and it's 9.15 in the morning, and you are tuned to 1550 AM WNTN in Cambridge, Needham, and Boston. We're streaming at WNTN.com on this Wednesday, September 11th, 2024. It's Wednesdays with Meletti and your host, Meletti Puliopoulos. On Monday, this past Monday, on Mondays with Meletti, we had a special interview uh, that we broadcast, but uh, we found out that our internet stream was down, so we're going to uh, rebroadcast this special interview of the first ever Langadian reunion. Uh, and we're going to be speaking with uh, Nicholas Lambros. And he wanted to add an important note to something that he wanted to mention in the interview, that this upcoming reunion was preceded by a number of years of efforts of the Hellenic Society Pavia Board of the University of Connecticut in honor of Langadian John Alexopoulos and his family. His efforts and his family efforts helped to connect the Pedia board with officials in the village of Langadia over the years. And uh, that brings us up to our very special interview this morning that we're going to air, and we'll come back with some more information that we've collected. Today is Nicholas Lambros. He is a law student at Boston College and a new member of the Hellenic Society there. And he has uh, organized the first reunion of the Langadians. Uh, hello, Nicholas. Hello. Hello. So tell us, um, where is Langadia? Sure. Uh, it's right in the middle of uh, Peloponnesus, um, in the region of Arcadia or Arcadia. Um, it's in the mountains, built right on the side of a cliff. And, and how did the idea about doing a reunion come about? So I had been interested in genealogy, researching um, family history, and my family distantly being connected to the village. Um, and the opportunity came about when I was on a trip in Greece um, with the Pavia program of the universe, uh, University of Connecticut. And uh, the professor leading that trip, uh, Dr. T uh, Tomasos, connected me with the mayor of Langadia, the region of uh, Vortinia. And uh, we started talking and we thought it would be a great opportunity to host um, a reunion for all the descendants of the many, many immigrants from Langadia to the United States. Is Elias uh, Tomazos, Professor Tomazos, from that region? He is not. He is not. He was just really uh, excited and passionate that somebody was interested in their heritage and history and wanted to be a part of it. He's a, he's a remarkable person, and that, that's just what uh, we like to hear, what professors should be doing, is uh, inspiring uh, younger people and helping them to connect with their roots. That's, that's wonderful. So how far are you casting this net? Is, is, is it open to everybody? And we'd, we'd love to have everybody. I mean, we're not going to tell people not to come, um, but obviously the focus of the reunions going to be mainly the village of Langadia, but there will be um, a broader focus on the region as well of Arcadia um, with speeches talking about, um, I guess, migration of people from there to America and the history of the area, and then genealogy more broadly. Um, Was there a cultural group of Langadians before in this area that you so, know? Yes, very distantly. Um, from what I'm aware of, there were organizations founded uh, earlier in the 1900s that I'm not sure lasted beyond the 1970s, but in areas like uh, Fitchburg and Chicopee Falls, um, as many people from Langadia immigrated there. And uh, your, your family, though, settled in the Providence area, is that right? They originally settled in Clinton, Massachusetts, actually. Um, my grandfather's family uh, came from Langadia in the early 1900s and settled in the Clinton area to work in the factories. So I've seen, I saw that you started a Facebook group for this reunion and uh, people, you've posted some family photos and others, you've posted photos of other families and now people are doing the same thing. So you yes, stirred up the, you stirred up interest and that's good. Are there any um, historical photographs that have you found any historical photographs of, of uh, a Langadian group? like an outing or something like that? Not specifically, but if anybody does have something, that would be great to share. Um, we found a lot of pictures of groupings of people at church functions or things like that where they happen to be 
from Langadia because so many of them immigrated to a lot of the communities in the Boston and New England area more broadly. That right. They kind of formed clusters naturally. Yeah. But um, if anybody has any records or photos from the Langadia associations or societies, that'd be amazing. Uh, it would be so. Um, and you have, are there any historical documents that have surfaced yet or any yearbooks or letters or anything like that that may have surfaced? Um, I, I guess personally, I, I was looking through my grandfather's yearbook from high school and I noticed that so many of the names um, in his graduating class were also Langadian family names, which was really interesting. What would be some of the names uh, that would be you know how we say that we we know that they're from the Peloponnese, so specific to that region, were there names that we might be familiar with? There's, there, I'm not sure if there's any specific names that are rare, like extremely unique to Langadia, um, but like many names in the Peloponnese, so they end in opulos, so that's not exactly helpful. But um, yeah, that I'm not sure if that's exactly. Uh, what you were looking for, but yeah, just uh, it's funny. Uh, are there any prominent people that that have settled in this area? Or names that we might say, people who became when they were politicians, maybe, or who knows that we may know. Not, not in the United States specifically that I'm aware of, but I know in Greece there were a number of political figures from the Delianis family, uh, prime oh. ministers of Greece, and yes, uh -huh. things like that. Yeah. Was there, were there any newsletters or newspapers that you know of that, that were held by either in Greece or here that were generated? Uh, in Greece, yes. I know that in the village there were newspapers and then they had uh, many of the people from Langadia moved to Athens and the surrounding area, um, like many other villages in Greece. Um, and they kept associations for Langadians there and had their own newspapers and uh, articles and they they carried on the traditions that way, right? And so some sometimes they would publish newsletters that would end up here in this country. We we end up getting a lot because people wanted the news from their village, mm -hmm. right? And so that's uh and you know the in the immigrant experience, you know what the classic line is, and you don't hear it very often, but the classic line is apupu ise. Yeah. And it was the older people always asked because, you know, that was part of their experience. Are you from my area or I know someone from and you probably know people who are who are connectors within the community. And I think you're becoming a connector. You know, you're connecting people and I'm sure you're going to get a lot of joy of this. What are the objectives? Why have a, a reunion of Langadians? What do you hope to achieve? Sure. So. There hasn't been anything like this in a long time, at least that I'm aware of. Um, and this is probably the very first function of its kind. And a lot of us are so distantly connected that there hasn't really been anything in the past like 75 to 100 years really researching and keeping the connections to the village and maybe family connections that have kind of been lost over time as the generations have passed. Um, it would be really cool to see people rebuild those connections and I guess kind of recount family histories, not just in the village in Greece, but also here because there's a unique history of Langadian immigration within our communities. Uh, so much so that even in Chicopee Falls, there's a street, Langadia Street. Really? Uh, so there's clearly a big impact that was had within, especially the New England area, but also beyond, but specifically the New England area with the factories and Right. that sort of unique experience in the early founding of a lot of the parishes and our metropolis. It would be very cool to see if people have any recollections or memories or stories. Yeah. I mean, so you've put the word out and people will be coming with their photographs and their stories. Will there be social, social periods in between this conference uh, weekend that where yes. people will be able to mingle and that of sort course. of So, um, I want to just make sure that people are aware when it's happening. Um, it'll be yeah. the 11th, 12th, and 13th of October. So that's three days. Of those three days, there will be plenty of social time and mingling. We want right. to spread out, um, I guess, work, which would be the lectures and discussions and family tree building opportunities with some more fun activities. Um, Friday, there will be 
a light dinner and fellowship opportunity so people can get to know each other um, mm. as they're coming in and look at a uh, exhibition about Langadi in the region that will be held in the uh, Bedvia Center. An and exhibition? Tell us tell us about this. Who's put together this? This will be from the Pedvia Center. They're going to have some books and photographs and some factual yeah. information related to uh, the village's yeah. history. Did you have you confirmed any any guest speakers? Can you tell yes. us about that? Yep. So Saturday we're actually going to have a, a pretty big ticket of uh, speakers. The mayor of the region that uh, Langadia is in, Estacio yeah. um, Skulis, will be coming um, and giving a presentation, which was is very uh, interesting. It's probably the first time that a mayor of Langadia has come to the U.S. to meet with Americans descended from. Uh, villagers there so it's well, it's very cool will this be will he be speaking in english or in greek i'm not sure yet but i i'm sure we could figure something out <laughs> um, right i have right. not uh confirmed that yet okay uh, when you when you met him did you speak with him in english in, or in, no in greek in greek you did okay yes um and then right after that we're gonna have a presentation uh with Gregory Kondos of Greek Ancestry, which many people have used to build their family trees and to find yes. documents. Right. Um, given the focus of the conference and the fact that so many people are now getting interested in genealogy, uh, we thought this would be really important. Excellent. I mean, Gregory will help to shed light on where they are in, in digitizing their their rec village records, you know, exactly. which is where people want to do when they, they're researching their roots. Exactly. What about you, your family? Have you researched your roots there? I have. I've done uh, extensive family tree research um, as far back as one can do. And that'll bring me actually to one of the other speakers who yes. I mean, uh, who's done a lot of research into Langadian history and genealogy, mm -hmm. um, Dimitri Tsalkanis. He's going to actually be coming from Greece uh, to the conference. Good. Um, and a lot of people who are attending the conference who have confirmed that they're attending have actually worked with them in the past um, oh. to find records like uh, voter registry records and documents from the village um, for their ancestors. I did that for my great great grandparents and beyond military records. And that's going to be a really good opportunity for people to hear about the history if they're not aware of it and then uh, work, learn a little bit more specifically. Greg's going to talk about more general ancestry tips for the area and then Dimitri will be looking into Langadia specifically. It's it's uh wonderful that these people are taking the time to come all of this way. Yes. To in in the hopes of of making that connection, re exactly. re uh, you know, reestablishing that connection and maybe servicing some more history that can be shared and and enjoyed. Um our guest this morning is Nicholas Lambros. Uh, he has organized the first reunion of the Langadians that will be taking place uh, at the C Hellenic Center Pedia in Storrs, Connecticut. That's at the University of Connecticut on uh, Friday, October 11th through Sunday, October 13th. And uh, he has an active Facebook page. And how can people find that? Just Re reunion of Langadians. Tell that's, us about what why. happened when you first put it up on Facebook. What were, were there any surprises? Um, I was very surprised that people were so quick to um, join the group and start sharing family photos and stories. And people were saying, oh, wait, are you my distant cousin? Right. Um, and I actually shared the group in the village Facebook group for in Greece. And a lot of people have been commenting how their great grandfather was brothers with somebody's great grandfather in Greece and they're reconnecting now. So yes, that's been really enjoyable. Um, right. And we're going to be expanding that I'm going to be posting more in the coming days. And hopefully as more attention is brought to it, more people post and share. That's good. Were there any other parts of the country where that you know of yet where Langadians may have settled? I know that the majority settled in the factory towns in New England, but some also settled further in the Ch Chicago area, um, yeah. well, in the what, South. What would Lagathia be known for? Like if, for, for instance, you know, yeah. What would, what um, so their, their main export, I guess, was, yeah. was people. It was stonemasons. Um, stonemasons. Traditionally, people from the village would take jobs throughout Greece, and I guess at the time the Ottoman Empire before that. 
right. um, as stonemasons constructing either municipal buildings, private buildings, or bridges, yeah. dam stuff like that. That's really great. Yeah. Do you do you uh, recall or know of any folk traditions that have been shared? In, and I'm talking about stories, maybe that you've heard from your father or his parents about. Um, you know, when you do this, do that in the village, we did this, you know, for a class or nothing specifically for me. I'm, I'm yeah, not really yeah. sure. Um, I'm sure other people have stories though. Yeah. I can't anything specific though. I just heard out, I had Irene Savis from the Boston Lycan and Ellie Nilan, and mm -hmm. I was reading to her an article that I found in the newspaper recently about a folk tradition about a bride who would write the names of the single woman underneath her shoe, you know, before the wedding, and that there was some sort of good luck charm or whatever that that would be given. But it's a folk, it's it's folklore, you know. Yeah. And uh, eventually, I think those thing kinds of things will surface within your own community. I'm and sure. Maybe, you know, when you put the question out, maybe your grand your your father will remember a song that you know his his parents had sung or something that, that may bring you back to that area. Were there any patron saints that you know of? Any any religious things that-, that... I'm, I'm not sure specifically oh. um, if there were any that, like maybe they brought here and then founded communities based on that. I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, that's I'm what really makes it exciting, sure. right? Yeah, we're gonna find a lot of things. A lot of us don't know, like as much as I'm interested in the topic and I've been researching, I don't know all these things. I know. I found an icon a few days ago in my grandmother's house that was brought over by my grandfather's uh, mother from Langathia. Really? And it was a embroidered icon of St. George uh, on a big, uh, like a big fabric screen, basically. Really? With, with the, uh, with the dragon? Yes. With, oh, yeah. really? Oh, I love and it. Things like that. People are, will probably find as they're going through family heirlooms and pictures. Yeah. And this is the opportunity to, share and and talk with people with a similar background about it that's great you know we've mentioned the facebook group but not everybody is on the facebook so what would be the best way for them to connect with this which sure. is it with you or with the pavia center with the pavia center um the best way that we're having people contact um if they have any questions about this um is through uh professor tomazos good since he's the representative from the center. Um, and I can share his email. Um, Please. It's P A I D E I A at S N E T dot net. Okay. And that's, that's where if anybody wants to RSVP uh, who might not have Facebook or has any questions, um, they can direct it there. That is so great. And and I know that we had talked earlier and you had told me that you had found out that the Langadians did have a historical organization. We don't have a lot of information on it, but you also said that it, it seems like a lot of them were part of the Pan-Arcadian Association. So if yeah. anyone in their homes listening may say, well, you know, we have old Pan-Arcadian Pan yearbooks or photographs or things like that, there may be a lot of Langadians in there. I'm sure. I'm sure they should be in touch with you as well. So that's good. Uh, congratulations on this. I, I hope it goes very well. And like we say, even if five people or 10 people came, it would be a success. And it's a I'm, I'm sure it's going to be a great success. People yes. have been expressing a lot of interest and um, we just want people to keep spreading the word. And even if you're maybe just from the region, your ancestors are from the region, neighboring villages, a lot of the information will be applicable. So don't feel that if, say, you're not from exactly Langadia, you can't attend. I right. would hate to have that happen. Or if, even if you're very distantly connected, yeah. um, that's the case for so many of us. Uh, yes. We still want, want you to be there. Because one of those points is that you want to may help them make those connections. We all need exactly to that may have been lost. Uh, right. Now is the time. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, thank of you. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, our guest this morning was Nicholas Lambros. He is a law student at Boston College, and he is the founder of the first reunion of Lagadians that will be taking place in Storrs, Connecticut, at the University of Connecticut, uh, October. 11th through the 13th, uh, he had given 
there is a Facebook page, but again, the email address is paidea, P-A-I-D-E-I-A, at snet.net. Thank you, Nicholas. Of course. And uh, it was such a great interview that uh, we had a wonderful response when we broadcast this on Monday. Uh, we found out that there were um, many Langadians had come forward many that uh, I know, uh, Andrew Fotopoulos, uh, Billy Galatis, uh, Costas Vlathras, uh, all uh, with roots in Langadia. And a uh, very good friend, Nick, had called and uh, said that there were many people that uh, he knew of also from the area. So it's uh, interesting. We want to thank again uh, Nicholas Lambros, who is organizing the reunion, and uh, to all the hard work that Elias Tosmazos and the University of Connecticut's Pedia Board did uh, through many trips to Langadia and the help of John Alexopoulos and his family. Uh, this involved many meetings back and forth with government officials and local officials in Lagadia. They've put together a great program. Uh, another note is that they, they will have Dr. Aristotle Michopoulos, a professor emeritus of classics and Greek studies at Hellenic College, Holy Cross. He will be speaking as well with the uh, mayor of Yortina, uh, Estathios Koulis, with Gregory Kontos from Greek Ancestry, and uh, with Dimitris uh, Tsalkanis, the uh, genealogy and history uh, expert that they're bringing in uh, that uh, understands that region in Lagadia, that, uh, that village. So um, he, if you look on Facebook, you'll be able to find it, and you can also contact the uh, Pedia Center from the address we gave in the interview. Thank you again for everyone involved in this, and best of luck.